Okay guys, this is game time part two, because I'm already seeing some comments for this scientific explanation breaking down right in front of my very eyes already. Some of you are actually claiming now, well, the body changes its caloric needs based on hormonal effects. No shit, that's what I've been saying all along. But the science nuts say, it doesn't matter, calories in, calories out. I got people saying, I lost weight on calories in, calories out. No shit, because you're not a professional bodybuilder or high-level athlete. You're a regular person. And now we have people saying, well, it's 99% of people it would work for calories in, calories out. Yes, but that's not who I am. That's not who the people I train are. And the people that these other guys, these other trainers, these other fucking wing nuts online that are trainers, are training competitive athletes, not the average person. And this is why at the end of the day, when these other trainers and other dietitians who are not taking into the hormonal response into account, and they are doing the calories in, calories out, they have boned out, sucked out, thinned out, less muscle athletes at the end, and not full, muscular, thick, shredded people at the end, because they don't take that into account. They're just like, oh, calories in, calories out, calories in, calories out. But I've not seen one athlete yet produced from this. And I'm not talking about a regular person. If you're 400 pounds, yeah, calories in, calories out. But I got those people attacking me, telling me that it's all about calories in, calories out, when basically we are doing two different things, which is what I've fucking been saying all along. And now you fucking scientific wing nuts are finally going, well, there's a difference. No shit. I don't do what you do. I don't take people for calories in, calories out. I manipulate the hormonal situation due to foods in the body to get the results on an extreme high level athletes. Are there people that I diet that are regular people that are not athletes? Yes. Do we do calories in, calories out? To a certain point if they're that big or that high a body fat. But don't come around BioS3 and tell me how I've got it all wrong when you guys are now breaking down your situations and saying, well, it's different for you know 95% of the population. I'm not the 95%. My people are not the 95%. So if you don't understand how hormonal manipulation happens with food that I understand, then don't come around and start bitching at me and tell me how it's all calories in, calories out. Because now the guys that were complaining about how I don't know what it is and they have the key have just gone and said, well, it's two different things. It's different. Yeah, it's completely different, which is what I fucking said all along. And that's what I was saying about Ian and all these other fucking wing nuts that are, oh, it's done like this, it's done like that. I can take anybody in fucking calories in, calories out of them, and by the end they'll be lose weight. But I can also take somebody and maintain or increase their muscle mass, actually gain muscle and lose fat at the same time, which theoretically can be impossible if calories in, calories out is the only way, if that's what mattered, over and over again. This is not a one-time thing. This is something I do in my body and with all my clients over and over again every single year for the last 15 years that calories in, calories out has no idea how to do. So that's all I was saying about it. And finally, I hope you guys are finally getting the gist that calories in, calories out are one thing and that what I do is something completely different. And yes, what I do is harder. I don't give a shit what anybody says. Taking all those variables into account to bring someone at their peak level conditioning but maintaining or increasing their muscle mass at the same time is not a calories in, calories out. It's very difficult to do that. So maybe now I might get a little respect, but probably not because the internet's full of douchebags that just like to be, 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 and then show their little skinny shredded physiques again and talk about calories in or calories out or their skinny fat physiques and talk about calories in calories out, but then they still can't fucking do what I do over and over again and produce the results that fucking hormonal manipulation does. And then they just claim it doesn't exist. It's all calories in calories out. But the proof is in the pudding and it's right there where 